Welcome and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're talking about a powerful strategy to turn your home equity into a steady, passive income stream. For those of you with significant home equity but feeling cash tight, this video is for you. Imagine turning what's just sitting there in your home into cash flow that can help you cover bills, supplement your retirement, or just give you more financial freedom. Let's dive in and see how this strategy could apply to your situation. Here are a few scenarios. Home almost paid off, but cash tight. You're close to paying off your home, but cash flow is still tight and bills are a struggle each month. Sound familiar? Equity in rentals, but not financially free. Maybe you own a rental property or two with some built-up equity, but still don't feel you're in a position to retire or achieve true financial independence. Sitting on equity with no cash flow, or perhaps you have home equity just sitting there doing nothing. This is more common than you'd think. People sometimes believe that building equity alone brings freedom, but that's only partially true. What you do with that equity matters. As Warren Buffett famously says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. Today, I'll walk you through what home equity is, how to unlock it, and how to use it to invest in cash-flowing real estate. Let's get that money working for you. Step 1. Understanding Home Equity Let's kick things off with a quick primer on home equity, just so we're all on the same page. Home equity is essentially the portion of your home's value that you fully own. It's the difference between your home's current market value and the remaining balance on your mortgage. For instance, let's say your home is valued at $600,000 and you still owe $250,000 on it. Your home equity would be $600,000 value minus $250,000 mortgage balance, giving you $350,000 in equity. That $350,000 represents a tangible asset you can leverage, much like any other investment. Home equity isn't cash in your hand yet, but it can be turned into a cash flow source, and there are several ways to do that. Step two, how to tap into your home equity. Let's explore four common ways to unlock your home equity so you can start putting it to work. Each method has its pros and cons, so it's important to understand which one suits your needs best? Option one, home equity line of credit, HELOC. A home equity line of credit, or HELOC, is one of the most flexible ways to access your equity. Think of a HELOC as a second mortgage that lets you borrow against a portion of your equity, typically up to 75% or 80%. So if you have $350,000 in equity, you could access up to about 262 thund. The best part, you only pay interest on the amount you actually use, and you can pay it down and borrow from it again if needed. This flexibility makes it a great option for ongoing projects or investments. However, keep in mind that HELOCs often have variable interest rates, so payments could fluctuate with the market. It's ideal for short-term use, but you'll want a solid repayment plan in place. Option two, cash out refinance. A cash out refinance involves replacing your current mortgage with a larger one, allowing you to pocket the difference. Here's how it works. Say you have a remaining mortgage balance of $250,000 on a $600,000 home. You could refinance with a $500,000 mortgage, pay off the $250,000 balance, and be left with $250,000 in cash. This option usually has lower interest rates compared to HELOCs, and it consolidates everything into a single mortgage payment. However, keep in mind, you're essentially starting a new mortgage, so make sure you're comfortable with the new loan terms and monthly payments. Option 3. Selling the property. If you're ready for a bigger financial shift, you could simply sell your home or rental property, cash out the equity and reinvest it. Selling is a straightforward way to unlock a large sum quickly, but it means 
giving up ownership of the property. This might be the best option if you're not attached to the property and want the cash immediately to invest in something else. But remember, if the property has appreciated significantly, you might face capital gains taxes. So it's a good idea to consult with a tax advisor if this option interests you. Option 4. 1031 Exchange for Investment Properties For those with investment properties, a 1031 exchange can be a game changer. This IRS provision allows you to sell an investment property and roll the proceeds into a new investment property of equal or greater value without paying capital gains tax immediately. Here's why it's powerful. Let's say you sell a rental property and have $200,000 in profit. By using a 1031 exchange, you could reinvest that entire $200,000 into another property, allowing your money to grow tax deferred. This method only applies to investment properties, not primary residences, but it's a solid strategy for building wealth. Step 3. How to turn your equity into a cash flow stream. Let's get into the how of using that equity to create steady income. Here are some steps to guide you. Step 1. Get educated. This is the most important first step. Real estate investing requires a solid foundation of knowledge. Before diving in, read up, take courses, or find a mentor to guide you. You don't want to make costly mistakes just because you skipped learning the basics. Real estate has a learning curve, and a little time spent educating yourself can lead to much better returns. Step two, choose a property type to focus on. Successful investors often focus on one type of property first. The world of real estate is vast, with options ranging from apartment buildings to mobile home parks to self-storage facilities. Choose one that aligns with your interests and goals. Once you have experience, you can diversify. But starting with one type, lets you build expertise more effectively. Step 3. Learn how to analyze deals. Once you've selected a property type, it's time to get good at analyzing deals. This means understanding how to evaluate a property's cash flow, expenses, and potential for profit. It's like learning the basic skills in any sport. You need to know the fundamentals before you jump into the game. This is where practice analyzing properties will pay off. For example, look at the potential rent income, consider vacancies, and account for regular expenses like property management, insurance, taxes, and repairs. This will give you a clear picture of whether a property can cover its costs and still produce positive cash flow. Step 4. Start making offers. This is where action meets opportunity. Nothing changes until you start making offers on properties. The truth is, every step before this is preparing you to make sound investment decisions, but the real results come when you take action. Every offer you make is a step closer to generating cash flow and building your investment portfolio. Real life example, turning equity into cash flow. Let's go through a hypothetical scenario to show how this might look. Imagine you use $262 to $500 from your home equity as a down payment on a $900,000 10-unit apartment building. Here's the breakdown. Monthly rental income. Each unit rents for around $1,050, which would bring in $10,500 monthly or $126,000 yearly. Adjust for vacancy. Deduct a 5% vacancy rate a realistic assumption from $126,000, leaving you with about $119,700 in expected income. Expenses. Let's say yearly expenses like taxes, insurance, and repairs total $40,000, leaving you with a net operating income, no I, of around $79,700. Now, let's factor in financing. Mortgage payment. On a $637,500 loan at 6.5% interest, your annual mortgage payments might be around 50,000. 
HELOX payment. Assuming your $262 out of $500, HELOC costs $1,750 per month, you'd pay $21,000 annually. Subtracting these from your NOI leaves you with approximately $8,700 in cash flow each year, or about $725 monthly. That's income you wouldn't have if your equity were just sitting idle. Benefits of turning home equity into cash flow, here are some of the perks. Monthly income. You now have a steady income stream that can help cover bills or build your wealth. Tax advantages. Investment properties come with substantial tax benefits such as depreciation and other deductions that can offset income. Loan pay down by tenants. Each month, your tenants' rent payments are essentially helping to pay down your loan balance, building even more equity over time. Potential for appreciation. If you're able to increase rents or improve the property, the property's value can go up. This appreciation can pay off in the long run, whether you refinance, sell, or simply hold it as a more valuable asset. Long term, you could even consider a cash-out refinance on this investment property, pay off the HELOC, and repeat the cycle to keep building income. In summary, turning your home equity into a cash flow stream can be a transformative financial move, but it requires a clear plan and some due diligence. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified of more of our content.